Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Desert War 1940-42. So, we're going to be doing a little quick tutorial here. This is really very simple, very straightforward. I just wanted to show you guys how you actually use the movement. Now, what we're going to do here is I'm going to take a look at our units. Now, actually, before we do begin, just take a look at the size of this scenario. Now, this is one of the largest scenarios in Desert War, and <laughs> this is truly a good scale. There's plenty of room for manoeuvre. And maneuver is something we're going to be taking a look at today. So what we need to see then is how we make use of these roads and highways. Now let's take this AT unit over here for example. Now we could have this move ordinarily. Notice it moves further along the roads. But what we can do here is if we press the M key you can see how the orders change for the movement. Uh, we can change our defensive orders over here basically so withdraw hold and hold at all costs so what we'll do then is we'll select move by road and you can see how much more movement we have here now this is a phenomenal amount of movement obviously we are paying for this the reason why we can make such a large leap is due to our logistics now do note here we are playing as the axis side the italian forces over here we can see that we have over 300 fuel and over 158 ammunition. To activate the road movement, what we must do is either select a unit over here. Now this is a quick and simple way to do it. So right click, hit this button over here, the supply and logistics information button, and we can choose the different settings. So what we're going to do is we're going to choose the move plus. So units move with uh, move plus supply can use their full movement factor and can use road movement. So we're going to select that and hit that tick. Now another way to do this is to go over here to supply and we can see all the different headquarters, we can also see the uh, units in those headquarters and we can dole out these supplies as necessary obviously if we are made aware of their costs as well. So that is a relatively simple way to do it and road movement can definitely swing the battle in your favour. We really could make a great amount of use of this. Of course we do pay for this movement do bear in mind that units on the roads will and can be ambushed by defensive forces or attacking forces as on the road they really don't stand as much chance as they do if they were moving under their own steam basically more prepared i should say so that is road movement hopefully you guys will be able to use that very short and simple scenario so what we're going to do then is we're going to go over it again from the top so we'll select our units over here so we'll have our medium tank and what we do then is we press the M key and move this to the road movement. Now this formation is under the command of this divisional headquarters that is given the move plus logistic priority. So do notice that the actual colour of the movement changes to blue. So if we change that to move and attack you can see that it's yellow. For move and defend you can see that it's green. There we go ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and goodbye.